What's going on guys? As you may have already seen on my little video, you will know that we are back on the road traveling this summer. We thought we'd do a little packing video just to show what we're taking for the next two months to go around Europe. You may have seen that we had the 44 litre Carby Max backpacks for the past year and we wanted to cut down on the size as we would have them on our backs more often and for longer periods of time. So we needed to get rid of some items so we're going to do a full packing video on what we're taking for the next two months. Firstly, we'll show you our bags. We both actually got different ones this time. So I got the 20 litre, the travel hack bag. Looks very small, I know, uh, but it's got loads of space inside. When you open it up, there's also two of these compartments here. It is quite deep, isn't it? Like, yeah, that's it is what I quite would deep. Say. I also have a space for a laptop in the back. I've got the 24 litre Carbon Max bag. Um, we'll link both these bags in the description if you're yeah. wondering and you want to check them out. It is very deep inside, however, on my back it does look pretty, pretty small. It does, yeah. Uh, again, it's got this big compartment here, and it's got a little compartment in the front with a laptop carrier in the back. The handiest feature that I found so far is this little side pocket, which holds bottles of water very well. Cassie, do you want to go first? Oh uh, yeah, go on then. I've got five bottoms, so I've got these blue jeans, these cropped linen trousers, plain black cycling shorts, these black just plain flowy shorts, and these blue denim jean shorts. I've got seven tops in total, so I've got this plain black t-shirt, this black strappy vest top, and I've also got this in a green, and in a white. I've got this blue, white and black strappy vest top, this purple t-shirt which I'll probably use more for like pyjamas when we stay in hostels and things. And to finish off I've got this pink vest top which has got a little bit like embroidery at the bottom. And then got this one place here just in case we go out and do something a little bit fancier I guess. And lastly I've got this little red flowery dress. I also have one little jacket, a little oversized black jacket which will be great for probably when we're on the trains and things like that. I've also got just one bathing suit for if you do any swimming in the lakes and the sea or anything like that. As for shoes, I've only got two pairs. I've got these black vans and then these black sandals. Right, we're going to get straight to the point. We've got one blue hat, two vest tops, this one and this one, which obviously I'll be wearing when the weather's a bit warmer. Then we've got seven t-shirts, which consist of two of these black ones, which are identical. Plain beige one, which is the same fit as the black one. Plain white one. I've then got three stripy ones consisting of this blue one, this burgundy one, and this black and white one. I've also only packed this one jacket, which pretty much does go with everything so far, I think, I hope. Straight into the bottoms, we've got these swim shorts, which I've doubled up as just normal shorts as they're plain and black. So they're handy just for everyday use. I've also got these grey chino shorts, which are my other shorts, because I've only packed two pairs. So these are a bit more nicer if I go out in the evening or whatever, I'll be wearing these. These are my plain black jeans, which are my third pair of trousers and my last. Yes, I know, I've only packed three pairs of trousers. The only shoes I'll be taking on this trip are these trainers, which I picked up recently. I know they're dirty already. And a pair of flip-flops, which I recently picked up in Primark in Malaga. So we've both got these microfiber towels, which wrap up really small. They dry super fast. Definitely swear by these. If you go and travel in, definitely invest in a microfiber towel. As you can see how big that towel was, and it rolls down into this tiny little thing here. Yeah, so we'll link these in the description as well underneath our Amazon travel gear. So we've both got 10 underwear and 7 socks, which means when we run out, we'll run out together and we'll be able to go to the laundrette and not waste any room having like clean clothes in our bag. And all of the clothes we just mentioned fit into one tiny bag and Which we will fill up now. That's it. A life for 12 months. 12 months? <laughs> Two, <laughs> Two months. months. Okay, we'll go through the toiletries quick and then I'm going to go through the electronics and then we'll show you how we pack them into the bag. These are all our toiletries, mine's on the left, Kelsey's on the right. Uh, if you want to just pause the video, you can obviously see what we're taking, but we're going to move on to electricals now. This is all our electrics. If you film when you're traveling, you'll know that this is not a lot at all, but we've got small bags, so we need to downsize on what we've got. All this electrics that I've got here on the left fit into that little carry-on case, the GoPro carry-on case. Then we've got the laptop with the laptop sleeve there. That's Kelsey's on the right. She's got a phone, a portable charger, an electric fan, and her charger. Then we've got some headphones, spare battery, 
a SD card converter, my phone, an external hard drive, and a laptop charger and phone charger. And then we've got all any wires that we need like for the chargers and stuff there as well. So we've both got these inflatable pillows each and we both carry a lock. These are really handy, the pillows for trains, long train journeys, they've come in really handy. And then we've got the two locks, which are awesome for hostels and obviously keeping your bag safe while you're walking around. First of all, I keep, I've been keeping my toiletries in this little pouch here. I've also kept this little tripod for a phone, which I forgot to mention in here as well, just out of the way. We haven't used it yet. Don't really know why I pack it all the time. So we've got the main big item here, which is the packing kit for the clothes. Just slot that in and I push it towards the top there. Then the electrics go underneath. I've got my towel, which I put here. And I've got a little bit of room then here for all my underwear and socks, which I will fill up now. Then we've got the inflatable pillow, which I just slot in with there nicely. And then my flip flops, sit on top. And that closes lovely and holds everything in. The lock goes on there. And the laptop then just slots in the back which is handy because it's got its own little pouch so no one can get in there easily while you're walking around. And that's everything, and this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on my back. Pretty good. On to Cassie's. Okay, so this is my bag. So I've got all my toiletries in this one and I've got all my underwear in this one. So. Here's our hack and goo. Mine's a bit more of a tight squeeze than Ashley's, but we get everything in. So I push that down to the bottom. And then I've got my bather, which depending on whether I've worn it, I put outside the packing cube just because it smell, can smell a little damp. And then I've got my towel, and my towel squeezes in there like that. My brush slots inside here, along with the sun cream. Uh, the fan I've got here just slots in the side just for a bit more easy access so if I'm walking around the city I can just grab it quickly that slots in there I've got the portable charger which just slots in there and just another little spare charging cable my charger and then I've got my sandals I tend to wear my trainers while we're doing a lot of walking that closes up like so and then Sometimes it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. We get there in the end. That does that. Like so. My lock goes onto here. And then that is my bag. And then this is what it looks like on my back. So quite small and dainty. And that's all we got. Okay, so we are going to be using these bags for two months and that's all we've taken because really that's all you need. We end up not using half the stuff that we take anyway. Yeah. If you do want to check out these bags or any other bags by Cabin Max, just check out the link in the description that we will leave. So the good thing about the bags that we've got now is they go on the carry-on without any extra fees. So you don't even need to go underneath, you don't need to check them in or nothing. Straight through security, nice and easy on the other side, no weight if your suitcase is. No. They're uh, both also small enough for Ryanair and EasyJet. I know Ryanair is a bit of a pain, but we went on a Ryanair flight to get out to Spain and we had no issues. So yeah, that's everything we've got. Thanks for watching. If you've got any further questions, leave them in the comments and we will make sure to reply to everyone. But we will see you next time with a more exciting video of us starting our interrail trip.